Mike, where we, Mike, where are we at right now? I have no fucking idea. Yeah, me either. Oh boy, you know, usually videos, whenever they have some type of surprise like this, they take a very long time and there's a bunch of drawn out just dialogue about nonsense to pad the runtime. But I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I think I've decided on what my next car is going to be. Uh, obviously, the Xterra is not good for the channel. It's just, uh, there's nothing I can do with it, especially in summertime. It's like, what I'm going to do besides make off-roading videos all the time and uh, just invest some money into something that's getting very old. So the plan going forward is obviously sports car, and this is sort of a weird subject because my budget is very low and standards on YouTube are extremely high. So that essentially leaves me with three different options, American, Asian, and European. Most likely going to go into the American build just due to the fact that it's cheaper in repairs, modifications, all that type of stuff. Obviously, whenever you hear America, you think Chevy, Ford, and Dodge. Not really a Dodge guy. Challengers are sort of expensive. Pretty cool. Uh, I love the Dodge Viper. Again, very expensive. Chevy route is definitely cost-effective, but uh, whenever it comes to Corvette, it's extremely saturated on this website. The Corvette. Yeah, the Corvette. All these Corvettes. We'll get them next time. The Camaro's also been done to death and a little bit more pricey than, say, a Mustang. And it, it, I guess that's sort of what it leaves me with is Mustang. Before the comment section goes absolutely nuts because they just said the M word. I want to say a few positive things about Mustangs. I'm not a huge Ford guy. I was back in high school, but that was just because my dad liked it, and I kind of developed my own opinion. Sort of leaning a little bit more towards Chevy now, but nowadays they're all the same anyway. Just manufacture as many as possible, make as much money as possible as quickly as possible. With the 2005 to 2010 body style, it's it's starting to show its age, but not nearly as much as like the 2003, whatever previous generation that was, I, I don't know. But you rarely see builds of it on YouTube, and I think that may be the path I want to go down, not specifically just because it's something I truly care about, it's just no one's really doing it. I understand a lot of people want to see the Fox bodies, not really my thing, maybe in the future, but right now I think that that generation is the most cost-effective, Maybe not the quickest, but definitely what fits the channel right now. There's a few problems that rise with getting a Mustang. The one is my commute to work during the wintertime. It's going to be pretty much worthless in a Mustang. I mean, you get like an inch of snow under any sports car that has rear-wheel drive, super light in the back. The thing's not really going to go anywhere. And uh, the Xterra's paid off, but I kind of want to sell it just to have the financial stability. It'd be nice. Uh, but I mean, it's just losing that four-wheel drive kind of sucks and the Mustang is going to be a dog in the wintertime. Obviously, the 2005-2010 body style and engine, I guess, just cannot produce enough power. It's, it's a dog all the way through. I've heard a lot of bad things. It's not going to be a V6. You don't have to worry about that. Most likely manual transmission, just depending on what good of a deal I can get. Uh, I have a few contacts. Send it Steve. Might be able to hook me up with something. I don't know. Matt Beaver also. It's, uh, it's nice knowing these YouTubers because they definitely help you out in the long run. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really just... I don't know what to do. If you can think of anything in that price range, besides like a C4 or a C5, maybe a C5, I'm just, I'm not into the Corvettes. I haven't been into Corvettes pretty much my entire life. I never liked them. It's sort of, as soon as the Stingray came out in 2015, then I started to get more on board because the body style actually appealed to me more than just some grandparents' sports car. I mean, there's some pretty good deals out here. I mean, here you have a 2017 Ford Mustang Premium, and then Ford rears its ugly head every time. But in all honesty, there are deals out there. Like, this is only $12,000, 13 14 I guess, after everything's said and done. 2017 Ford Mustang GT manual transmission. And uh, it's in pretty good shape. I think it only has 66,000 miles on it. So the deals are definitely out there. Take two on this outro. Just found out that the entire outro I just filmed and then, like, 30 minutes of footage for other stuff is totally corrupt. Uh, the Hero 6 is broken for whatever reason. Just doesn't work at all. It's a piece of crap. But that's okay. We have the backup GoPro here. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to figure something out. It's probably just me doing something wrong with it. I don't know. Video files are all corrupt and messed up. So some good news is this actually marks the end of Bobby sitting on the couch and just talking to the camera about nonsense. It's hard to have a car channel when you don't have a car. So hopefully this promotes uh, going forward with a new car mods, a new build, and all this different stuff. So I know some of you out there just love sitting and listening to me talk the entire video, but this is the last one. We're going to be going into nothing but car stuff for the rest of the summer. It's going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully I can get the GoPro working. If not, uh, we're gonna have to be stuck with Hero 4. I'm sure you guys noticed some type of audio lag. And the microphone, I think, where like it, it, it registers the voices or records is on the bottom. So it's really hard to vlog with because I always try and hold it and then my thumb covers it and it just sounds like I'm talking to a sock. I understand these videos have been short lately. It's just, it's been hard to, to get anything out there, but I want to show that there is still a pulse on this channel. If you guys have anything you want to say about this Mustang decision or, or what cars I may be able to go with, because um, it is a hard decision. I mean, this is what I'm going to be having for probably the next three to four years. It'd be nice to have some feedback on what's going to really launch this channel into the next, I guess, stage of its life. I know whenever you're trying to watch these videos on YouTube, you're trying to decompress after work or just relax. You don't want to hear someone trying to sell you something or say, hey, give me a thumbs up. But 
it is greatly, greatly appreciated, especially on this end. Uh, try and get back to all the comments out there. This is a young channel, so you try and just get around to everybody. If you guys want to meet up for anything, vlog, do like just a dual comment, anything like that, I'm totally down for that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care.